Hi everyone, in this video we'll show you how to integrate WhatsApp and SMS in Marketo using webhooks. So the first thing we have to do is to log into Marketo and go to the admin my account. From my account we select the integration and we go to the webhook menu and then we click the uh, new webhook menu. Here we can see there are different options. So the first one will be the webhook name. We can put WhatsApp webhook test, for example. And here we can put in a description, it can be test um, description. And then we're gonna see the URL. So for the URL, you can use the insert token. So tokens are dynamic values in Marketo. You can fill based on your use case or based on the value that you have in Marketo. In this example, we don't need to have dynamic value for the URL. So we're not going to use token, but we're just going to um, fill the value on the um, next field, which is this one. So we put URL. Here is going to be uh, message.com. You can see it on the uh, blog post for um, clarity. I'm going to also post the code on GitHub, so don't worry. So you can copy and paste the URL from here. And then on the um, body request, you can uh, set, depending on the use case, in this case, I'm, I'm gonna put a template, but you can put a WhatsApp template for if it's your first message to the customer, otherwise, you know, WhatsApp is gonna reject your message or you can send a, sem a simple message. If you need more details on how WhatsApp works and how uh, templates are uh, and why templates are needed, you can follow the article or even like, you know, book a call with me. Or you can ask uh, questions on the comments. I'm gonna try to reply to all of you. All right, after that for the, um, we do have two, um, we do have two additional fields. So request token and code, and we can leave it as none and also response type as none. These are usually needed if you need to map your responses, but for this use case, we don't need it. And then we can click uh, the create button and Marketo is gonna create the webhook for us. All right, now we only need to add the authentication. To do so, we're gonna click on the webhook actions, set custom header, and then we go on the, we add the authorization header and the value, which can be the uh, basic with the API key and secret or the um, bearer token, which is the JWT. We click done and then we can use this webhook on the uh, on Marketo. So now uh, to test these webhooks, we need to create smart campaign inside Marketo. So if you go to the marketing activities, you click create new campaign folder, then you select the folder and you create a new program. Um, under the program, you create a new smart campaign and from the smart list, you decide based on the condition. In this case, we're just testing. So I'm gonna use, uh, you know, uh, an easy, I'm gonna just use this condition, the first one that I can think of, which is email unsubscribe form. So I set up a landing page with Marketo, and once a user sign up to the form, uh, is gonna receive the uh, WhatsApp template. So try it out. You can try with the this example, with the landing page or with uh, any other, you know, um, action inside the smart campaign. Let me know if you're uh, able to send uh, WhatsApp messages. Uh, if not, I'm really ha happy to help. So just uh, add a comment on the video and I'll do my best.